everybody. Welcome to Late Night Football. Welcome to our Transfer Reaction Show. And uh, we've got a year we go. It's been, it's been in the works for quite a while, but uh, it's finally looking like it's nearing completion. And we've got a year we go already, but uh, Timo Werner is joining RB Leipzig again back from Chelsea. Uh, that's where he came from, uh, to Chelsea. He came from RB Leipzig, was a star at Leipzig, really played very, very well at that wonderful season. Uh, and then he came to, to Chelsea and a lot, there was a lot of high hopes, there were a lot of expectations for him, from him. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked out for him at Chelsea and now he's going back to where it all began, in a way. Uh, he's going back to RB Leipzig. Uh, it was meant to be a loan deal, but uh, it is going to be a permanent deal. Not 20 million euros uh, is, is what the fee has been reported as. So, I think it's a massive loss, isn't it? For Chelsea, they signed him for a big amount and um, he goes back. I signed a Lampard, actually. And uh, now he goes back to, uh, to to Leipzig for a much lower amount. So, um, it's sad. It is sad in some ways because Timo Werner, I thought he was a, he was a fantastic uh, uh, signing when he was signed by Chelsea. That was a fantastic signing for Chelsea. They needed a striker. They they needed someone who could score goals, but also someone who had that pace uh, to play on the counter. It was you know he had a lot of the technical and physical attributes that he would associate with someone who could be successful in the Premier League. But for some reason, it just hasn't worked out. His composure has always been lacking. For some reason, I don't know whether it's the nervousness, whether it's the fact that the pace of the Premier League is quicker. So, you know, you sometimes, when it's a sl slower pace, you have more composure. You know, you tend to have more time on the ball. So you kind of sometimes, you know, that, that for those who are probably less composed, they, they prefer that extra time. In the Premier League, you don't get that kind of time. So his lack of composure has come to the fore in that uh, in that sense. And I think maybe just the fact that he's going to go back to the Bundesliga and familiar surroundings, I think that would help him just rediscover his goal scoring form. He does lack composure, though he misses a lot of easy chances, a lot of guilt there chances. And I think it's a lot to do with, with that, uh, with not being used to the pace of high level football. I think that is what it is. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, I'm sure Chelsea fans will be will wish him all the best. I mean, he still won them a won a Champions League with them. He he did he did okay. I don't think he was he was uh, completely bad. I think people probably say he was better than Lukaku. Uh, but uh, I, I'm sure people expected more from him. I think that that's where the frustration is that they a lot more was expected from him. Um, as far as Leipzig, it's a wonderful deal. And I'm surprised it's it's a full time deal. And the reason why I'm surprised is it's a, it's a permanent deal for them. I'm surprised because they they are they are also agreeing a deal to sign Sesko next season. So if he, I, I would have thought they would have probably kept it as a one as a one year deal, uh, as a loan deal, and then you get Sesko next season, so you don't need Werner, which I think means that they know that Nkunku is leaving next season. I think that is the implication that that they'll have is that the fact they'll keep Werner, they'll get Sesko in next season, and Nkunku will leave, so they'll have Sesko, you know, and and so Werner is there as a, as a sort of continuity link, but they have Sesko in as a new striker to replace Nkunku. So I think that is one you want to keep an eye on. Then Nkunku will leave next season. Where he goes will be interesting, but I, I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan is to, is to see him leave um, leave Chelsea next, next uh, sorry, not Chelsea, Leipzig next season. So that'll be something to follow. Um, from Chelsea's point of view, I think it's good business. I think it's actually good business. I think I think this is again one of those win 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 deals that we talk about because uh, uh, Chelsea, you know, they get a bit of money for a player that they would have probably otherwise had to give out on loan. So what they've done is they've got rid of him completely. They, they sold him, they got his wages off the book, they've got some money for him. Uh, I mean, there's always a risk with loans is if it doesn't work out, then he's got to come back and then you're going to try to find a place for him again. So in some ways, they've done well uh, to get him off the books. The money, the transfer fee is lower, but what it has allowed them to do is, is, that is also gives clarity to the players that are there, that these are the players that we're going to go with and we don't need to worry about the specter of Werner hanging over us for next season. So in that sense, I think it's a good deal for Chelsea uh, to do. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a smart deal because they've given themselves that flexibility of not having to worry about him coming back. Um, and they get a bit of money for him, and um, you know it, it, it's it's good for it's good for Chelsea. I mean, it's a big loss, but sometimes you got to take losses to move forward. I think they've done that, so it's good. It's good from a footballing point of view, and from a business point of view, people might might have disagreements. So I think from a sporting point of view, from a football point of view, I think it's a good deal for Chelsea. It's good for Werner. He goes back to you know uh, familiar surroundings. He goes back to a club he knows. Goes back to a league he knows. He'll feel more at home, more more comfortable in his home home country as well. So I think from that perspective, Werner will enjoy that. And I think for Leipzig, of course, they're paying, you know, they, they sold him for a big amount. They're getting him back for a much lower amount. They know he's a striker who can score goals for them. Uh, you know, so it, it, and they know that he's a, he's a proven player for them. So they get him back and uh, they'll be happy with that. And also keep in mind what uh, with the continuity thing. So they've got a striker now who can dovetail with Nkunku. And when the time comes, he can then be the continuity link for Sesco. So to me, I, I think I think it's one of those win 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 days for, for all three of them. So it's wonderful. It's a uh, it's a big move, of course, for for Werner. It's, it, you know, it is something he'll be disappointed with the fact that it didn't work out at Chelsea, and he'll be wanting to prove himself. 
So that'll be something that he'll look forward to as well. But wish him all the best at Leipzig. Hope he does well uh, and uh, scores lots of goals again. I'm sure every Chelsea fan will wish him well and hope that he succeeds at Leipzig. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, of course. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of this deal? As if you're a Chelsea fan, or if you're a Leipzig fan, what do you think uh, of this deal of Werner going to Leipzig? What do you make of it? How did you? What do you? How do you rate uh, Werner's time at Chelsea as well? Let us know in the comments section. Always love to hear your opinion, of course. And uh, do remember to smash a like. Smash like for life six, smash like for Werner uh, and for his move. I think you should do that. And uh, please do subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, appreciate your support. And uh, we are doing content, as you can see. So when you subscribe, you do get notified as they drop. So uh, we've got a lot. It's been a busy day of transfers. I kind of purposely kept away from a lot of the big rumors. So we'll try to see if we can. If there's one more that we can do later on, just uh, analyzing another one of those. Because there's a lot of news coming through. And it's hard to know which is legit and which is fake. So we'll try to see uh, which one goes ahead. But do subscribe so you get notified. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.